Jelani Ingram, Dr. Antonio Rozier. We have three good topics today. Let's get right into them. Omega-3 fatty acids. So what are they? So omega-3s are what? Simply put, they're fats, right? They're in small amounts. These fats are essential to our life, our health, and our functioning. Over the years, the world has kind of accepted that omega-3 fatty acids help you reduce your rates of cardiac disease, you know, either by lowering your blood pressure or by lowering your cholesterol. However, a recent study in the Cochrane Review has shown that we may not be getting exactly the effects that we want to get from these supplements that we buy over the counter or through online. You know, we buy these, these pills thinking that they're going to do exactly what they say. However, there is a review that just came out. It looked at almost 112,000 people, and they found that, you know what? We may not get that, get that same heart protection that we thought we were getting from the pills. Well, it's a supplement. Sometimes it's hard to know the bioavailability, right. meaning how much we're actually able to use from the pill, right? Uh -huh. So the issue with omega-3s and what we used to think, omega-3s, if you put them inside of a cell, the wall, the membrane mm -hmm. of the cell, it's supposed to protect from inflammation. That's why we thought they protected against our heart. But what we're seeing is that's not entirely the true story. It's really about a better diet. Exactly. It's like, am I, you know, that's always the argument. You know, should I, you know, eat the food or should I take the actual supplement or the powder or the drink? Well, you know what? We have a second article, right, that talks about the actual right. food, correct? That's true. That's true. The, the second article actually took 400,000 patients or people and actually looked at those numbers instead and they saw that the amount of fish that you ate actually decreased your mortality in certain okay. events. So right. someone that has Alzheimer's, it actually decreased death from Alzheimer's. Wow. So this study basically said that, you know, if I'm eating a certain amount of oily fish, protect my heart, it will decrease my mortality, right, essentially. And it was for both men and women, correct? That's correct. I mean, it won't entirely just the fish, right? Wow. So mm. you have to look at your actual diet. I can't eat fried fish and take omega-3 supplements and call it a day. Right. It just won't work that exactly. way. Exactly. Oh, so I just can't, just can't take that one food, huh? It's more of an overall combination of things, right? It's overall oh, combination. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, it's booch time. Kombucha, Let's go check baby. The kombucha over at the counter. Like we said, kombucha time. Kombucha. Or I, we have to call it sometimes booch. booch. What is kombucha? I'm pretty sure you've walked around your grocery store, you've seen these bottles. You've looked at this bottle and said, you know, what's this stuff floating inside of it? Is it even good for me? Do I need to even buy this? Well, kombucha is an amazing drink, okay? It is a fermented sweet tea. How long is it fermented for, Jelani? One to three weeks, which doesn't sound amazing to some people. Mm -mm. This product actually gets fermented um, using the kind of like a mushroom shake bacteria they call it SCOBY. This SCOBY will then ferment with the tea. It produces alcohols and sugars, but it also was great and full of probiotic. Yeah, you can just imagine the first person who actually found out about kombucha, right? <laughs> what do you, you know? They did. They, it probably made tea let it sit for a week because they were drinking it over a week. Right, exactly. They looked at it, saw the stuff at the bottom and said, you know what, I'm going to drink this anyway. I, know. I probably wouldn't have done that, but hey, but now look, now we have kombucha, right? <laughs> we definitely can't say if it's, it's going to improve your overall health, but what we can say is we've been drinking this since ancient times, exactly. right? So why not? Here's a kombucha. Here's a kombucha. <laughs> That's it for Doc Talk 360. Make sure you subscribe and follow us. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you like the stuff that we're saying. If you want to hear more, let us know. Comment below and shoot us an email. Please, and please ask us questions. We love to talk to you, to hear from you, and, and, and interact with you also. And just remember, this is a 360 degree video. If you stick a headset on, you can actually be here with us. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Booch. <laughs>